Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. The Messiah is close. Are you ready? We find ourselves in a very interesting times, my dear brothers and sisters. What is happening in the Holy Land of Israel is no accident. We know that Israel is the holiest place on earth. It is the land that God gave to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob and their children forever. And the fact the fact that this is going on right now is proof. Sorry, it's not proof. I should say is is a wake up call to everyone, because what happens in the Holy Land of Israel affects the world at large. So we know that we are close to the redemption. The Rebbe, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, told us over thirty years ago that we are in the final generation. That in this generation, the Mashiach, the Messiah, will come, and the whole world as we know it will shift. We will go from exile to redemption. We will go from a physical reality, from experiencing the physical to experiencing the sub-physical, the spiritual within the physical. We will experience God. But my dear brothers and sisters, we have to know that time is running out, that at any moment now the Mashiach will come. And yes, we hope and yearn for the Mashiach at every single moment. But his coming is dependent on our service now. And God is evaluating each and every one of us. He is testing us and he is closely examining us, examining all our ways right now to see if we're going to do the right thing, if we're going to serve him, and if we're going to do teshuvah, we're going to repent and return. And once the Mashiach comes, we're not going to have the same opportunity to serve him as we do now. Yes, the world as we know it is going to be infinitely more pleasurable. We're going to have a much more enjoyable reality. All the suffering will end. And there will be peace on earth and we will experience a revelation of God which words cannot even begin to describe. But yet there's something, there's something advantageous about right now is that now we're being evaluated for our service. And now is when a God is really testing us and really examining us and evaluating us. And all of our pleasure, all of the revelations that God is going to give to us in the times of Mashiach. Each person is going to experience a different revelation of God according to their level. It's all dependent on our service of God right now. Imagine you're going to go to like a, just for an example, you're going to a massive lake of liquid gold. And when you go to this lake, you can technically take as much liquid gold as you want. But you have to prepare, here's the catch, you need to prepare your buckets before and the, you're only allowed to fill up the amount of buckets you bring before once you get there you can't find any more buckets you need to find the buckets before so that's like an analogy for now Hashem is going to have an infinite revelation when Mashiach comes Hashem is going to cause his light to shine forth in the world but the amount we get to internalize and enjoy the level we're going to be at to be a vessel for Hashem's light, which is infinitely pleasurable, is dependent. The buckets are made right now through our service of Him. Of course, we don't serve Hashem for a reward. We serve Hashem because it's the right thing to do, because it's truth. And the Rebbe explains that really we have to serve Hashem lishma, for, for Hashem's sake. We learn Torah lishma, we learn Torah for, for its sake. Not because we want honor, not because we want a, people to find us intelligent, but we learn Torah because it's the truth. We serve Hashem because that's the truth. So to hear, we're not serving Hashem now so that we'll experience more pleasure when Mashiach comes. That's one of the levels. Yes, we do serve Hashem because we, for reward, but that's the lower level to it. That's the exterior, outer shell of it. That's not the limit to it. There's much something much deeper. We serve Hashem because it's the right thing to do, because He's our Master, because Hashem is good, and He wants a relationship with us. And that's the true level of service of Hashem, serving for Hashem's sake, I want to do Hashem's will. Hashem desires me to do this mitzvah, this commandment. I'm going to do it because Hashem desires it. And yes, I'll get a reward. And yes, I'm very excited for that reward. But I'm not doing it just for the reward. I'm doing it because it's what Hashem wants. And yes, Baruch Hashem will be getting a reward. And that's very exciting. But that's only the first step. Also, so too with sins. A punishment for a sin is something very frightening. You know, you have to face Hashem. There's severe punishments for every little sin that the soul has. Every sin is like a blemish on the soul. And to remove that blemish from the sin is through punishment and severe, you know, severe situations that I wouldn't wish upon any of you. That we should amir Hashem do tshuva and completely purify our souls in this world. Because in this world, by doing tshuva and return to God, you can clean off your soul immediately by doing tshuva. 
right? When a person passes away and they have sins, their soul has to go through a very painful process. But here in this world, we don't have to go through pain. We could just say, I'm sorry, Hashem, and do children, fix our ways here in this world. And it's way easier. And it's, it's like, you know, a little bit of effort in this world saves you from unimaginable situations in the afterlife. So we should all do tshuva now completely. But on a deeper note, we're not just, we don't just not want to do a sin because we'll be punished for it. Then there'll be a frightening punishment. But much deeper, we don't want to sin because we don't want to go against Hashem. We don't want to be separate from Hashem. We're embarrassed to do something that's against what Hashem's desire. Hashem is so good to me, so good. Hashem is so holy, so perfect. I'm so, I, I'm so in awe of Hashem. I love Hashem so much. Why would I ever want to do something against Him? It's, it's, it's contrary to my nature, to, to my desire. That's a deeper level, that I'm embarrassed to do something against Hashem. That's called Shuva Ilah, higher level to Shuva. So we all have to start somewhere, and we have to be excited and know that the great revelations are about to come. The revelations of God Almighty here on earth. As it says in the Holy Torah, the Holy Bible, the, the Jewish Bible, the Hebrew Bible, I guess you'd call it in English, but we just call it the Tanakh, the Bible, <laughs> the Torah. It says, Hashem, the, the glory of God will be revealed and all flesh will see and know that God has spoken. We'll experience the greatest revelations possible. So Hashem bless you. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and help support us below. Any amount is infinitely appreciated. Thank you.